guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and coffee with my Santa hat. Mmm, so good. So I, let's not spill that, have a Dollar Tree haul for you. They're still not getting a lot of great stuff, but some fun things. Also, my one store started putting out their um, signs for uh, Thanksgiving today. I saw them. Um, some new stuff, but I don't need a bunch of signs. If you can see behind me over here and over here, getting ready for yard sale, and I'm doing a bunch of purging. Uh, we'll see when we get closer to the holidays or fall what happens. But for right now, I didn't want to bring stuff like that in because I'm trying to get some stuff out. So let's show you what I got in no particular order. Um, I did grab some of this pink gingham because I thought it would be fun to use on a cross-stitch pattern. Hi, Wellington. Bye, Wellington. Um, so I grabbed that. And I think it's great. Hi, you want to say hi? This is Mr. Wellington. He is my 14-year-old. Oh, you rubbed that belly. Yeah, you go lay down over there. I just gave him treats, and now he thinks he needs more. Now, they have a bunch of back-to-school stuff, and I will show you a couple things. I didn't need a lot of that either. However, um... The colors, so they had gray and then a lot of pastels. Um, this is nothing new, but I liked the color and I'm redoing my craft space and I thought this would be good to put like paintbrushes and stuff in and it will match my decor. So I picked up that color. I'm trying not to catch my hair on fire. I got a candle burning. All right, baby. Let's take a that ear. Oh, he doesn't like it when I fuss with him. I got a new um bottle brush i will tell you i got one of the baby bottle brushes um and it broke after like a week or two so i'm hoping i got two different ones to try but i do like this one because it has um the sponge at the bottom and these bristles on the side and these seem a little firmer to me and a longer handle the baby bottle one has like a nipple brush down here to get up inside of the nipples and clean it. But this one I like because it had the sponge. So we got two actually. I got this one to try. And then I also picked up this one, which seems a little more sturdy. And it's just the sponge top on this with a bunch of sponges. So I have two. Um, and they're both Scrub Buddies bottle brushes. And this is just a dish cleaner, but it'll go down into like the tall bottles and cups and stuff. So I grab both. I'm not sure which one will make the cut, but I needed a new one because the other one broke. Um, I picked up some four more of these. The Tiava um, in the peach black tea unsweetened. I love this. So I grabbed four of those. Um, so that'll be eight drinks for me, some, maybe even a little more, because uh, these are kind of strong for me. So I mix half, usually like half and half water, or maybe just more water than half. But I grabbed four of those, and now I have a trash bag, because this one's ripped. I do reuse them, but if they get a hole in them, I cannot reuse them. Now, my one store is getting a lot of cake decorating stuff in. And I don't, I don't eat it, but I do like to decorate. And I thought this would be fun at Christmas time. They're sprinkles. Let me see if I can get those. Um, silver stars, gold balls, white and silver jimmies is what I call them. I don't know if this was for Christmas or like a New Year situation. But I mean, that is a fair amount in there. You get um, one and a half ounces and that would decorate a lot of cookies or cupcakes. So I grabbed two of these because um, we've been going back into the office a little more. Actually tomorrow, um, my whole team will be in. So I'd like to bake for my team. So I grabbed two of those to make cupcakes around Christmas time. And then look at these for Halloween. I am gonna, I'm opening the box, but not the package. I'm gonna make a uh, one-eyed, one something horn, one-eyed, one horn, flying purple people eaters with these eyeballs. 
on the cupcakes. I don't know how many you get in here. It just says one tablespoon is a serving and you get two. It's like 18 to 20 eyeballs, which is perfect because I'll make like two dozen cupcakes. And then maybe some will get some extra eyeballs, but I thought these were super fun, so I grabbed those. Um, and these are Best Buy. Um, Best Buy date, January 7th of 2025. And they are exclusive brands made in China. So um, they contain a trace of soy, no peanuts, and they're gluten-free. They're just sugar candies, you know. But they had all different ones at the one store, and I thought that was a lot of fun. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, yes. So I grabbed one of these. I don't need a lunchbox by any stretch of the imagination. However, and this what this is. It's a lunchbox. I'm opening it up to show you. And I wish they had them in the bag shape and not the box shape. But what I do want this for, when I go to work at the Schottenstein or my football games, I pack a meal and I like to put it in a bag, but like a lightweight bag that'll just kind of conform. So I'll put this in there with food and a cooler pack and then whatever shape it needs to go. It's just real thin and cheap and that's what I want so that it compresses down and it just kind of keeps everything contained. These, they had them in all different colors. I hope they get them in the bag, which is really what I would prefer, but for $1.25, this is ideal just to keep things clean and tidy in my backpack. They had them in pink, purple, black, and I think gray, I think. So they're nice, just a little lunch bag. And they're, you know, they're nothing that's gonna last a million years, but it certainly, it certainly will last for what I need it for, which is a season. Um, I picked up this four by six picture frame. I love it, it looks like fake leather with the stitching on it um there's plastic over it. there is glass involved and these are great for my cross stitching or for pictures i have a beautiful picture of my cats if you're following me on facebook i have a new group we can all communicate and share pictures and ideas and the cover picture is my cats and because i guess there's a lot of my crazy life over there and the link is in the description box below if you want to come to facebook and to join the community but I grabbed one of these because I thought the boys' pictures would look great in here. But I think I printed it a five by seven and this is a four by six. So there's that, but it'll work. Those are great. Um, I did get the, one of these. I enjoy these. Oh, sorry, Al Wellington. I enjoy these for cleaning. Um, I, I could have gotten the bigger box, but for now this was fine. It's just the Mist a Magic Eraser. And then it has a sponge on the back. So I grabbed just one for my kitchen and then I think I need to bring this to the retreat. So if somebody has a finish, you squeak it and then you get to show everybody that you finished something while you're at the retreat. Um, plus it makes a fun noise. I'm sorry, buddy. The cats do not like that. I better put it away. Better put it away. All right, what I get here? Oh, more peach iced tea. This is um, Weiler's. Eight in a package. I love this stuff. You know that I buy it fairly regularly, um, but I don't always see the peach iced tea. So when I do, I grab it. I like it. It helps me drink more water. And I had two big waters today. I know. Okay, so what else did I get? Oh, I got this today. Uh, socks for children. These are boys, size nine to two and a half. Endure long lasting boys socks, four pair. And these are like ankle socks. And yeah, you get a green and gray, white, white, and then orange and gray. But these are great for little boys and it has um, extra light 
cool max they're pretty thick socks i think these would be good for my friend's son for winter so i got him two packs of these kind of socks these and the ankle socks that he can um take to school i have a, a hook here and i'm trying to not create a hole but i think that ship has sailed on this one sock so hopefully she is better than me i'm trying to unhook it oh well she'll have to get that off but one of the thing loops is around the sock so four pack this pack regularly goes for i don't know let's see if i can figure it out it doesn't say, but I can tell you these are not cheap socks. They're nice and sturdy. So I will take those to work tomorrow. Um, I did find some fun things. Now, the one store that was putting some fallout also had some home decor. And I grabbed, I like this sign. I love these faux beads here. And it just says, um, sweet home, home sweet home. And I love this for fall. I love black especially with like my light gray furniture. It really kind of tones things down in the winter. So this, it's the MDF wood. You can do anything you want with it, but I think it's pretty perfect. So this will just go on my shelf when I change over seasons. And to go with that, look at this. This is Greenbrier and it's just a Monstera leaf. And again, it's black, but look how that would look together. I love them. This is wood, metal, metal. And you could also, let's say you wanted to use this base, you could glue something to this leaf, like a sign or something, but I just like it how it is. They had multiple, but I thought one was perfect. So I grabbed, should I cover my coffee cup for my flop, for my thumbnail? Yeah. <laughs> so I grabbed those two things. And then at the same store, they did get a bunch of books in and I didn't really see anything I was too, too interested in except for, um, I grabbed this book. It is America's Reluctant Prince by Stephen L. Gillen, The Life of John F. Kennedy Jr., which I thought could be interesting. And I am headed to the beach in a couple weeks um, for a weekend to go visit my brother. So I thought this would be great. And this was $29 US. Um, and I've always, you know, had a fascination with the Kennedy family. And so I thought this would be a good read and nice, you know, beach read kind of thing. And it was $1.25. So if I take it to the shore and it gets wet, I don't care. Right, right. Okay, we just have a couple little things left. Um, I did grab one more of these because I am stitching a bee thing and I'm hoping I can put it in here, finish it. If not, not a big deal. And actually I could probably do it on this side or this side because I will put fabric in here and then the stitch on the front. But I love the beehive shape. It is actually a dry erase board. They also sell these in chalkboard and I may have one in chalkboard. And if I do, then I could finish it on the chalkboard as well. So I grabbed one of those just for that project. Um, this is the new like colors that they're coming out with for the back to school stuff, the rainbow, the strawberry, the peach, and the sun. And these are book magnets. So it's like a bookmark. They stick between your two pages, but you can also use them if you're a crafter, like if you have a pattern or something. I don't know how strong the magnet is. We're gonna see, it's pretty, I mean, it's sticking between some cardboard. So it will definitely be a good bookmark, um, especially like if you're traveling with your books. These are great because I think the paper bookmarks tend to um, slip out, but these would be magnetic and they wouldn't, nothing sticks out of the top of the book. So I like that. So I grabbed those just for my books. And then they have these, which are paper clips. show you and I'm going to put these in my planner how fun is that and I love the back they're like the way they're glued on there but they're just and you can paper clip them and use these as bookmarks as well or like in your planner to mark what day it is or you know anything like that but they are and these are like rubber like rubbery I am wondering if I couldn't 
make um, stitch markers out of these by pulling these off of the back, off of the plastic, and then gluing magnets to these. I don't, I don't know. We're not gonna rip them apart, but if I see another set, maybe I will. But I think these will be fun. I love them. So I grabbed those also for that. And then I did pick up one fall thing and it just says, always be thankful. I love these colored pumpkins. I'm not sure if this is a new product or not. I feel like they had it out last year. Um, also, I'm not sure if I bought it, but I liked it. And I think it'll look nice on my porch with a pumpkin sitting on top of it. So I grabbed that. And then the last thing I found, I know this is a quick one guys, but hopefully they start getting more stuff soon are these now these are i don't think it's a really acrylic i think it's plastic i'm trying to see if i can get this piece of tape off because the lid is taped on so i'm trying to get the lid off so i can show you the, i'm assuming they're for bathrooms but i'm using it in my craft space so they're just clear and the lid comes off they're not like the lid it it's on there it's but it comes off I'm putting in one of these for sure cotton rounds for when I craft. I use those with rubbing alcohol to clean things. Um, so one of these will hold that. And I might take my Cricut and put on here what's in it. And then maybe cotton balls or Q-tips or, pop, you know, popsicle sticks or something. But I love that they have the lid and they're clear. And they're pretty sturdy. I mean, these are nice quality. And it is Greenbrier, so everybody should be getting these at their store. But these are fun if you're doing any type of storage or organization or for your bathroom, cotton balls, cotton rounds, Q-tips. I mean, everything will fit in there, but I think these are fantastic for also craft storage so you can see, oh, fill it full of buttons or bells or beads or glitter. I mean, there's a million things you can put these in, but I'm in the, I'm redoing my craft room mood. So everything I see is all about crafting. Right, buddy? You wanna come up here and say hi to everybody again? He said, I uh, know, lady, I'm laying down here sweeping. <gasps> oh, they like you. You has friends. <laughs> He's purring at me. All right, guys. Well, that is everything I have found this week. I hope you enjoy. I will be back hopefully later in the week, maybe. I'm kind of busy this week. Uh, today, you'll see this on Wednesday. Thursday, I have my cross stitch night that I tr uh, created at my pool house. So I'll do that on Thursday. Friday, I'm getting ready for yard sale and Saturday's yard sale. So if I think about it, maybe I'll video the yard sale and I'll have Sarah say hi, cause she'll be here too. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.